Hello and good afternoon. I am Salvaz Ali Khan. I am a Novel Certified Dynamic Professional. Today we are going to learn Manage User and Group Account from the Online. This will be a bi-level session, so if you feel any problem, you can ask me. Okay. So we will start now. You can use commands to perform the same user group management tasks available with the asked. In this object, we will learn manage user account from command line, manage group from command line, create text login messages. So these are the three basic points which we will discuss in this objective. So first point is manage user account from the command line. The user group can use the following command to perform the same user management task available with Yast and some of tasks not available with Yast. Here we will learn the, the, uh, the commands which the user group can use to manage the user as well as groups and some other commands which we cannot with some other tasks which we cannot perform in the asked. So first command is user add. You, will, you can create a new user account with the user add command. If no option is specified, the command user add create a user without a home directory and without a valid password. The first command is user add. If we use user add command without any option, without any specification, just with the user name, so if we add a new user to our, to our Linux computer system without any home directory and without any valid password, just a new user is added by using the user add command without any option. The following are the most important options of the command user add. We can use many options to add values to our command, to add some extra effects to our command, and these are the following options. The first option is dash m. This option automatically generates the home directory of the user without further argument. The directory is created in the home directory. So, if we use the option dash m, by using the option dash m, we assign, we create the home directory for the user under the home directory, under the slash home directory. Suppose we are going to add a user Salman by using dash m option. By using the dash m option, the home directory is created for Salman, like slash home slash Salman. And if we do not use dash m option, no home directory is assigned to that Salman user. In addition, several files and directories are copied to this directory. The directory slash ext slash skeleton from skeleton is used as template for the user home directory. In addition to the home directory, there are several other directories and files which are added to the home directory of the user, and these all directories come from in from ec slash ext slash skeleton. This is a skeleton file structure. This is a template of the home directory. The next option is dash c. When creating a new user, you can enter text for comments, for comment field by using dash c option. If you want to add some comment to the user add command, you can use dash c option. The comment can be any sentence, it can be a full name of the user, it can be a father name of the user, it can be last name, it can be a, it can be a comment. By using c, uh, dash c option, you are able to use uh, comment with your uh, user add command. So, the next option is dash u. This option is specified the user ID of the new account. If this option is set, is not given, the next free ID is used and the maximum limit is 60,000. If you use user ID command without specifying the user ID, the next free available user ID is assigned to the new user. And if you want to assign the user ID by our own uh, sense, if you want to give some specific user ID to the user, we can use dash u option to give the user ID which we want to give. Then we have the option of dash g. This option defines the primary group of the user. You can specify either the group ID or the name of group. The user on the Linux system can be member of many, use, many groups, but it has to have a specific one primary group. So here we can specify that primary group of the user by giving that, by using that g option with user ID command and by, with the that g option we can use the name of the group as well as the user ID of the group. Then we have the option of dash p. This option lets you create a password for new user. The following is an example. 
But the example says is user add space dash m space dash p space inverted comma begin some encrypted password inverted comma close space the name of the user table. Dash p option is used to, to assign the password with the, with the command user add. It means that by using user add command we can also assign the password to the user. And here the specific uh, specific concern for user dash p option is that Okay. The encrypted password must be given here, not the plain text for the password. The program uh, empty password is used to generate the password. If we, are, if we are going to assign the password by using the HP option, we have to use the encrypted password in these inverted commas. We cannot use the text, the normal text password which we, uh, which we normally want to give the, the user account. If you want to give the user account, Salman 786. We cannot write Salman 786 here. We have to encrypt it by using the program and the password. We will convert it into encrypted form and then that encrypted form comes here in, 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 instead of Salman 76. That's how you can use the HTTP option to assign the password on the user account. What is the minimum size of the password? Minimum size of the password? Uh, sir, the minimum size of the password is, uh, there is no limit. Does the system uh, prompt you?